Hello, folks. Welcome back to the Straightforward Farming Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Reed, alongside Nick McCormick. And yes, we are still alive. Yeah, we're back. We are back. I don't even know when the last time we done a podcast was, but it's, it's been... It's been a while. It was probably sometime in January, wasn't it? Surely, I would well, think. Surely we've done one this year. I don't know. I think we did. In fact, yeah, let me look at the list. January 25th, looks like, was the last one. So I guess, I don't know when it was recorded, but yeah, that's the last one we released. But we are back 60 days later. That just shows you how busy we are. Yeah. You people just don't realize what yeah. it takes. Yep. It's so, a lot of work. It is. And a lot of kids' sports get in the way. Yeah, so. they ain't that the truth. Yep. So we're gonna, They say you got to enjoy it while they're there because they're not there very long. Yep. That's true. That so. you do. Once the kids are raised and gone, we'll have so many podcasts. You guys will be tired of hearing us. Yep, exactly. Yep. Yep. So is there anything new with you in the last 60 days? Oh, just trying to get ready for spring. Yeah. Not being super successful in that manner. But That's I'm how I am. It's kind of slow getting in gear here just with the weather being what it is. Well, that's the thing. You get, you get to rearrange everything, and the, the barn lots are soft, and I don't like to drag everything out, and yeah. can't get to some stuff yet, and don't feel like working when it's 17 degrees in the shed. and and here it is pouring down rain outside right yeah, now. So exactly. It's like, what's the what's the point getting in a big hurry? I mean, There's no rush. I don't see how we can't have some sort of planning delays this year. Just, I mean, if it didn't rain another drop, we're, we're three weeks out just due to the mud yeah. and the cold. I mean. Yeah, it's pretty wet out there. Yeah, and hell, Minnesota's buried in snow. You never know it by the markets, though. They're kind of in a free fall. Yeah, no doubt. But, Along with the rest of the economy. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, yeah, we did it, Joe. Yeah, doing some quality work there, bud. Yeah. Sure enough. So, but it looks like the kids' sports are getting put in the rearview mirror this Saturday's the last of the volleyball stuff. Yeah, and yeah, so. I'll only be done with that. Although I'll miss it, I enjoy it. But it is fun to watch. I think I'm going to take a lot of time. My kids to the tournament there and watch and whatnot. But it's yep. a cool place. It's nice. It's a good deal. Is it? It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, no, I don't know. Been kind of a. Slow winter. It has kind of went by sort of fast, though. I mean, yeah. for me, I guess we've done enough traveling and been occupied that it ain't, it ain't been too bad. I've had worse, I guess you could say. So Yeah. Got to get a few things planned this weekend, a few things planned the next weekend. You know, throughout the winter, it's like next thing you know, bang, you've lost. Yeah. You're, out of, you're out of weekends to, to do anything else. So it goes by pretty fast. Yep. I always like this time of year because, you know, we get through another, what, a week. I mean, once we get to the 1st of April, I mean, anytime after that could be go time yeah. when the weather straightens up. So. Yeah. It always sucks when it's February and it turns off to 60, 65 degrees, but it's like you couldn't do nothing if you, I mean, yeah. if you wanted. I mean, I love getting stuff ready for spring, knowing everything's freshly greased and oil yeah. changed and ready to roll. And yeah. Then you forget about the three or four small things that you planned on doing to something. But it'll wait till summer or fall or winter. Yep. Or, never yep. or, or the next year. winter. Yep. Yeah, Just keep whatever. kicking the old can down the road. Yeah. Yep. So, so what do you think? We got a big TikTok band coming on board here. I seen the hearings today. What a joke! Yeah, that is a joke. God, you know I'm not thrilled about the Chinese owning it. We're we're all in that same boat. But I'm like, at the end of the day, I think they're scared that that so many people can be informed about something so quickly. Yeah, and they don't have control over it. Yeah, I was know? watching the hearings today. And I don't even know where this congressman was from, but. First words out of her mouth was, you know, how dangerous it is for children, and we can't have children on this and that. And then she's like, and so how do we monitor their time on there, you know, because my 18-year-old can get on there and be like, you know, a notification will come up on his phone after 30 minutes. Your screen time has been 30 minutes or whatever. Yeah. But the one that's 12 years old, he says, well, I can get on there for as long as I want and never get a notification. I'm like, well, let's back it up here a little bit. This app is so dangerous for children that you're letting your children on it. Yes, exactly. So, you know, it's, it's just smoke and mirrors it, it, the whole thing. Well, it's classic. <laughs> the government needs to parent our kids for us, yep. you know, yep. in that they don't. They're not good at anything they do other than screwing things up. No. So how about they just stay out of it? Yeah. Isn't there a little thing like the First Amendment maybe that I says think we can there do is, yeah, I think yeah. I've read that somewhere. I so believe. maybe they should buzz off or start their own version. Uh, yeah. Start, start a better version. Yep. Have some American companies start one up that overtakes yeah. it. Shouldn't be that hard. Yep. I mean, and it's funny because there's a lot of people on there that don't maybe get as vulgar as what I do or whatever, but they act like it's the Wild West on there. And it's not, I mean, mm -hmm. you can't say anything on there without getting banned or, no. you know, showing, you know, it's it's heavily exactly. censored. It's not like you're just yeah. running amok. <laughs> if you don't want your kids on it, don't let them on it. Yeah. Uh, plain there, and simple. There's this simple word. It's called. No. Yeah. Try it sometime at home, folks. Yeah. It'll work. Yep. 
I personally don't think they'll ban it. I mean, I, I, I've seen them do stupider things. I mean, I, I well, wouldn't no put doubt. it past them, but I don't think they will. I think there's enough people on it that they would get some pretty serious pushback, I think. Well, you would you would hope so, but like I said, they never cease to amaze me. So. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, they'll probably end up making it, you know, they'll put so much regulation on it that it won't even be fun. You know, you'll quit yeah. on your own is what yeah. they'll probably end up doing. So. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. They should probably stick to bigger problems. Well, that's kind of what I thought. You know, I seen that here in Illinois, you know, the mess that this state's in, but we're passing bills that you can't declaw your cat no more. (laughs) What, uh, how librarians can refuse to ban certain, I forget what, I mean, just something completely off the rails. It's like, what are you doing? You know, this is all we have to do. Exactly. I mean. Well, it goes back to, I've said this before, I'm like, these are first world problems. We have too much money as a country. Allegedly, we don't really, because we're. Yeah, twenty trillion dollars in the hole, but we have the illusion of wealth. Poor people don't worry about that stuff. Poor countries don't worry about yeah. shit like that. We're trying to worry about. Yeah. They're worried about can we turn the lights on today? Yeah, do we get to eat today? Do we get, we get to eat today? Yeah, maybe tomorrow. You know, maybe they should want the government to stick to a good military and good roads, and we'll take the rest of it on yep. ourselves. Oh, it'll be fine. Yep, I agree. And if you think about the irony of it. That's why people like it. I'm not talking just TikTok. They like the internet in general because it's free. You can do whatever you want. You can look at whatever you mm-hmm. want. You know, if you want to look at something that you shouldn't be, yeah. you can. Nobody's yeah. there to tell you that you can't. And that's why people like the internet because you're free to do whatever you want yeah. on there. Exactly. Yeah. They're just torqued they didn't think of it first, probably. I agree. And then you got Zuckerberg and all of them, Greasing Palms. Oh, you know, absolutely. And, yeah. yeah. It's, it's ironic that the only bill that's ever went through Congress in the last 15 years that both sides of the aisle can agree on is to ban TikTok. You know? Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. No doubt. Yeah. And if if he's such a genius, why didn't he just start a better app? I agree, yeah. Seems like it would, he's got the money to do it. Yeah. You know? And when it first came out, people liked it, but it just got to where it was just more yeah. and more bullshit, and people yeah. just sick of using it. So Yeah. I don't know. It uh, It's crazy. Like I said, they, they should have bigger problems to, to worry about, I would think. I would definitely think so, but... What do I know? I don't know. You know, it's like when they were doing those trials on steroids in baseball. I'm like, we really have the time yeah. to pay congressmen to worry about steroids in baseball when we clearly didn't worry about them enough to test for it. Yeah. But after the fact, uh, now we got to look into it. And, wh- and what kind of hearings come through Congress that you and I, they don't even make the mainstream media. Yeah. I'm sure there's so much stupid shit to go oh, through absolutely. there that's it's yeah. just appalling. I yeah. mean. And all that is is you know you get so much more money for being on this committee and that committee and yeah. doing this hearing. That's all it is. A way to po- pad their own pockets. That's all it is. They don't care. Just like the movie Distinguished Gentlemen, with so much money coming in from both sides, how does anything ever get done? That's the beauty of the system, son. Nothing ever does. Exactly. We're seeing it play out to the twentieth power right now. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. What a deal. Got to drive me a Fent tractor. Finally, yeah, I saw that. Wasn't. A huge deal, but I mean, got to at least drive it for ten minutes. Yeah. So pretty sweet rig. I liked it. Yeah, they're a nice ride. Yep, nice ride. I mean, everybody's new stuff now is pretty, pretty yeah. nice when you get down to it. I mean, pick your poison. They're all, they're all pretty nice. They have their pluses and minuses. You know, you can you can pick on one versus the other based on your brand preference. But most of that, if you didn't know any different, if you weren't color loyal of some fashion, you know. All that stuff's halfway interchangeable these days. I'm curious to see how the big bud deal pans yeah. out. You know, um, yeah. I think it's a good thing. I mean, competition yeah. never never hurts. Yeah. I, I'm wondering if they can keep the cost low enough on that that it's I don't know comparable. You know, to a deer or whatever. I mean, don't take long at all nowadays to get a half a million dollars in a big tractor. I doesn't mean, seem like it. No, so doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's an interesting piece. I mean, I'm glad they at least they're trying. Yeah, you know. I agree. There's a lot of really cool history on them old, you know, whether yeah. it's Steiger, Big Bud, any of them, the yeah. way that those, I don't know, I'm, I don't know if short line is the right word, but, you know, back then, I guess it was name brand, but yeah, um, kind of interesting how all that stuff come about and the yeah. thought that was put into it and the research. And Usually the, out of necessity. Yeah, you know, that's right. Mother of all invention, you know, we need, we need a bigger tractor to do the work in our area and, you know, 4020 ain't cutting it. Yeah, and you know. and in a sense, a lot of those companies are what John Deere and the big companies either bought or took their idea. You know, because John Deere yeah. had them old Wagners and that stuff that was a very very crude version of a four wheel drive. Yeah, you know the Steigers. Well, then they were buying that. Yeah, you know, I mean they weren't. Yeah, they didn't see enough of it to make their own for a while. Then when they tried to make their own, that was an epic fail. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's pretty wild, though, to take a tractor like a Steiger and build that from the ground up in your shop. Yeah. You know what I mean? To just think, you know, we... I mean, that's, that's that's hard for me to believe because, you know, we've always grown up that you just go buy something like yeah. that. But, you know, they didn't have access to that. So, I mean, that would be weird to walk into your shop and say, you know what, we're going to build a four-wheel drive tractor yeah. from the ground up. Yeah, no doubt. And do a really good job of it. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah. Of course, the first ones were just for them, I think, weren't they? And then, and I, was... I believe, yeah. There's a good interview on Doug Steiger on YouTube, and I don't remember if it was his daughter, daughter-in-law. And, of course, he's... 90 years old or yeah. whatever he's way and he may even be dead by now i don't remember how old yeah. the video was but uh pretty interesting hearing him tell the story of how that all started and yeah no doubt yeah it's come a long way fast that's for sure boy it has you know but it, you think about like big bud was doing six seven hundred horse tractors for a while and even steiger was doing you know five and a quarter and then it regressed for a while it did it went the other and way then yeah. it, and it came back you know now it's coming back in full swing but yeah, nowadays I don't care if one of these companies build a thousand horsepower tractor; somebody would buy it. I oh, mean, absolutely! It's it's crazy yeah. that that it's went that far that fast. Yeah, never had too much horsepower. Nope, that's for sure. Nope. So you getting all the pulling tractors lined out for the season? Everybody getting geared up for that? Yeah, we're, get, we're getting there. Yeah, getting there. Yeah, yeah, that'll be here before you know it. I mean, yeah, unfortunately, it will be. Well, I get. Need a little more time on some of that, but that's always the case, you know. Yeah. It's hard to get stuff in these days. Yeah. How is the parts gig now? I mean, is it better, worse, it, same? It's better in some aspects, worse in others. Like, I don't know. It's the supply chain is still screwed up. Yeah. Like, companies still don't have as many people as they need to. And yeah, I tell you what's burning my ass these days, and it doesn't matter who I deal with. Could some of these companies turn enough profit to hire somebody to answer the damn phone? I yep. get so freaking tired of being on hold to the world's shittiest hold music. At least if you're going to put me on hold for four hours, have some decent hold yep. music. I fumble through this automated phone system for 10 minutes. Then you're on hold for another 20, all for something that you could have taken care of in 30 seconds if somebody yep. answer the damn phone. Yeah. You know. And it's like that. I don't care what company it, you it call. It doesn't matter who you're dealing with anymore. Like, you're going to be on hold. Yeah, I get it. You know, I not everybody can get through when they're trying to call me either, I don't suppose, but. So it's just to the point of ridiculous now. Yeah. Like, if you're that short-staffed. Yeah. Of course, nobody wants to work, I suppose. At least that's what they keep saying. So. I don't know what to think on this economy. I can't think that it's good. But, you know, we just come from the Commodity Classic in Florida. And, I mean, it's just as stupid busy down there as it's always been. I mean, and maybe that's an exception to the rule because there's such a volume of people that are there this yeah. time of year. And, you know, a lot of people will leave to go home, the snowbirds, but... I mean, it just seems like it's that. I mean, I don't see no shortage of people anywhere I go. No, no, that's for sure. It, uh, of course, usually when stuff starts getting drastically overpriced, and real, you know, that's usually when the balloon's getting ready to pop. Yeah, when stuff's getting clear out of hand, and people are waiting in line to to buy this new car, or that new truck, or so on and so forth. Like usually, that's a telltale sign. It's probably going the other way. But yeah, rental cars. There was no issue there. I mean, there were just lotfuls of them down really? there at the airport. I mean, so I don't ought to have a whole bunch of them that were like new that just needed chips. Where did all those cars go? Right, exactly. I never have heard where all those cars go. They got to be two, three years old now. Yep. Allegedly, still can't get chips for them. Yeah. You know. I mean, who the hell's going to buy that? I, I I don't understand that. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you saw a 2019 car that's been sitting outside. Yeah. You know, till now. You know, I I don't know. It makes no sense to me. Yeah, and I haven't talked to anybody that's been up by Moline or Grand Island or anywhere where these combines are built. You know, one time there was just lotfuls of them, and I have no idea if that's been resolved or not. Or... I don't know. I know they were they they were all missing something, though, weren't they? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then it got to be the scrapyard because it got to be where they couldn't get parts for the stuff that was in service, so they yeah. just got to going out and robbing a belt, bearing pulleys, whatever, yeah. off of some of them. And... Yeah. Yeah, it was a great strategy. But, man, I would think they would have to take a bath on them at – some point even if you got chips for them i mean i'm not saying a guy wouldn't buy them i mean i'm sure there's a sector of people that would yeah i don't even know on a car thing like that they probably don't even attempt it i doubt they, it they, they probably you know like if, if a big dealership gets hit by a hailstorm they just scrap those cars right you know i'd buy one with a ton of dents in it at a discounted price yeah for a farm truck i don't care yeah exactly you know it's yeah. all new otherwise right you know, rock on put a new yep. windshield in it and let's roll yeah but they scrap them yeah you know which I kind of understand, but I kind of don't. Like, there again, back to the, we have the illusion of too much money. Like, yeah. In the real world. Yeah. You know, that that's a prime vehicle in yeah. 
Turkey or someplace, probably, yeah. you know? like Yeah, take the guy that's never been able to afford a new car. Yeah. And here it's like, you know, hey, we'll knock 15 grand off of this thing. He's like, well, I could probably swing that, you yeah. know? And so, got it. yeah, it's got some dents in it. It's a brand new vehicle. I mean. Exactly. It's gonna, yeah, you would, it's gonna drive the same. Yeah, you would think there would be a sector of people that would take them regardless. But I suppose they don't want the market flow. I, I'm sure there's some bean counters somewhere that have done way more math yeah. on it than we're going to do. So, there's probably a reason. Yeah. But, and I don't know how that works either. You know, sometimes like on insurance deals, if it's total, you know, you can't. Yeah, they probably have to. Yeah. So, but you wouldn't think a sixty thousand dollar truck you could put enough dents in it without physically damaging the structure of it. Right. Like you wouldn't think you could put enough de- dents in it to total it. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if you had a construction company, I mean, their trucks get demolished anyway, yeah. or oil field workers, whatever. Who so cares? All the utility companies. Yeah. Or something. yeah. All these companies got salesmen or somebody driving a, a new F one fifty four door anyway. Yeah. Let them drive that one. Yeah, big you know, deal. I'd... Who cares? Like you say, it's going to get destroyed anyway. Yeah. But whatever. It. Uh, yeah, I don't not, know how all that works. It's not it's... my cross to bear, I don't guess. No, I guess not. It... Yeah. I don't know. It, uh, it's a crazy world out there right now. Yeah, it is. And, man, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to fix this mess we're in. I mean. I don't know. They've I... <laughs> screwed her up good this time. <laughs> you know, you can. You can trace all this stuff back to a thousand different avenues, you know, whatever, whatever you want to blame it on, you know, parents or regulations or, you know, participation trophies or so on and so forth. But I, I look around at these kids and I guess I'm old enough now I can, I can do that without feeling bad about it. And I'm not, it's not, it's not this generation's fault per se. And, and they're not all this way, but I'm like, you look around at the average 18 year old kid just randomly walking through a mall, go to a restaurant or something. It's like our ancestors stormed the beaches of Normandy at 18. Yeah. These guys couldn't storm a Starbucks. No. Like there could be a two for one, $10 coffee for $5 sale, and they would have a hell of a time pulling it off. Yeah. Not trying to talk shit on them, but they look ridiculous. Whoever come up with these tapered leg pants, they can take those back. The ones that look like they've already pooped in them, like they're sagging in the butt, this, that, and they're like, that is the dumbest, most ridiculous look. And then every girl you see, and I know I'm going to offend some people with this, but your face should not look like you got in a fight with a tackle box. Yeah. I will agree with Kim Kardashian on one thing. You don't put a bunker sticker on a Bentley, and that's exactly what that shit ends up being. It like, is. You know, it started off as one casual little stud nose ring. Eh, okay. Not thrilled about it, but Okay. Now we've got them dressed up like hogs and cattle in the barn yard with rings to their noses in 50 different directions. Oh, they're just trying to express themselves individually. No, they're trying to look like a dipshit. Yeah. I, for, all I agree. You, for all you young girls, you're going to regret the shit out of that at some point in time in your life. Yep. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. And I know I'm just a crotchety old guy that's talking out of turn here. But there's going to come a time you're going to look back at those pictures and be like, Wow. I really look like a moron. Yeah. You know? And really, if you look back when we were 18, we didn't dress like idiots. No. It was just no. the normal attire for the day. And you look mm-hmm. back now, you think, God damn, can't believe you ever wore that. Well, and it wasn't anywhere to the, no. near the degree what these kids are doing. I mean, you look back at some of our pictures, okay, wearing Wranglers and a T-shirt. and yeah. uh, A pearl yeah. snap with the sleeves ripped no, off or no whatever. You know? Exactly. Well, now that's toxic, toxic masculinity. You mm-hmm. can't dress like that. Mm-hmm. But that's that, that shows too much show of force. Say what? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, it. It is mind-boggling to me. I can't imagine what, like, our parents or even, you know, people a little bit older than that that have seen, you know, 10 or 20 more years than them, they got to look around and just be bum-foozled on yeah. how it got to where it's gotten. You know, that is one thing that has never come full circle in this country, it seems like, is the attire. I mean, like, you know, bell-bottoms may come back for a they year. They're starting to come back, but, yeah. But, you know, you you never completely get rid of the ridiculousness. No. You know, it just seems like you just keep going farther and farther and farther. And, I mean, yeah. you know, when we were kids, if you seen a guy with tattoo sleeves like down to his wrist, it's yeah. like, you know, that guy's a drug dealer, biker. I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying we were right for saying that or thinking no. that. But, but you, now that's just like the norm. I mean, you go to a beach, and I mean, it is ink from head to toe. You know, like it or not, your first impression image is good. People are going to judge you off that because stereotypes exist for a reason. They're based on statistical facts and analysis, and that doesn't make it right. There's plenty of really great people with piercings and tattoos, yeah. this, that, and the other, and I'm not singling them out. We're just using that as an example for this deal. But you also get immediately judged by that. Yeah. If you've got a demonic tattoo on your arm with the devil slaying off a head or whatever, 
I'm kind of going to judge you for that. Absolutely. You know, I see that. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. you guys probably not going to church every Sunday. Yeah. Probably not going to leave my kid with him. You right. know, probably but not a good be, idea. He, he might be the, the greatest, nicest, greatest, yep. greatest guy in the world. We've yep. got a buddy that has that tattoo, yeah. and he is a great guy. Yeah. But I think given the choice to do it over again now, he would probably not do exactly. that. Exactly. But. Yeah. And, there, and anybody who's listening to this can deny this, but I don't care. You immediately judge people the first time you see yeah, them. Absolutely. Everybody does it. Absolutely. And that's just the way it is. Yeah. If your daughter brings somebody like that home, you're immediately going to scratch your head. for supper. Yeah. When well, he comes through right the now. door. Not staying for supper. Not going to happen. Yeah. yeah, like I say, if you don't want people to judge you for doing dumb shit, don't do dumb shit. Right. You know, that's just how it is. But but it just seems like it's so far on the fast track now with the the litter boxes in schools and stuff. I mean, it has just went so what far a joke. beyond. What a joke. A simple good parenting rule. If people need examples, watch the 70s show. A lot of problems can be solved with foots and asses. That's right. It's a simple procedure. Yeah. It's very effective. Yep. You might want to stretch a little bit if you're not as limber as you used to be, but a quick foot to an ass can correct a kid rather quickly. It can. And you can generally tell the parents that are yeah. good at disciplining kids and the ones that ain't. It goes back to that tricky word called no. Right. But nobody wants to hear that anymore because that's you're oppressing them, you're doing this, that, and the other, you're bullying them, whatever. No, it's called good parenting. It's fine. And my kids are far from perfect. I'm no expert on it, so don't. Flame me for that, because I'm not. Yeah, results may vary. Yeah, it's results fine. may vary. Some kids are just going to turn out to be shit bags, no matter yeah. how, no matter what you do to them, you know. But, but uh, you can give it an honest try. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. It's a like you say. You see, you see all kinds of stuff out there anymore, and it's just some of the trends are boggling. My, can we get rid of, rid of the high waisted jeans? Can that go away? Can we bring low rise back? I I agree. Having uh, the top of your pants touch the bottom of your under boob is yeah. not a good look for any no. girl. I don't care what your figure is. That's not your best look. The first time I seen that, I asked my wife, I said, what is the deal with that? She's like, oh, that's the new style now. I'm like, what? You should not be able to put your wallet in your back pocket by reaching over your shoulder. Yeah. You should I have agree. to reach around the back. High-waisted jeans can go away. Yeah. They're, they're not a good look. We can nip that. I wonder, who gets to set the fashion tree? You know what? Where does this stuff originate? I don't know. I've always wondered that. Why is it that men's jeans are sagging down lower now? <laughs> well, not for us, but for some people. And women's jeans keep getting taller. Yeah, I'm like, we're, we're going backwards there, guys. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, yeah. I don't want to see men in low-rise anything or high waist. Just yeah. Men's jeans shouldn't really ever change. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it is. Uh, it's interesting, like I said, where those trends start and how they become popular and so on and so forth, you know. I even wondered that when we were kids, you know, it was always seemed like there was some new trend at school every year, and then it would they would stick through that school year, and then the next yeah. year was something else, and it's like, you know, who started this? Where did yeah. this come from? And we're always a couple years behind, right. you know, yeah. the bigger cities or this, that, and the other. Yeah. What these kids needs a bunch of slap bracelets. Let them entertain yeah, themselves that's right. with that. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That was a great trend. God, I seen a TikTok the other night showing the cast of 90210. Yeah. Then, you know, and it would, yeah, you know, yeah. Tori Spelling, and I don't remember if she was 17, you know, whatever. Yeah. Now she's like... 55 or whatever yeah. age is i forget but it's like holy shit and i never watched that show but it it was always kind of in your face when yeah. we were kids you know it's so popular and it's like man it kind of makes you feel a little old when you start yeah, seeing no that. doubt <laughs> don't let tony fool you folks he was a huge 902 oh yeah guy. absolutely yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can honestly say i don't know that i have ever watched a minute of that show just never never was into it no and of course, when you had three channels and Dad got well, the pick, he wasn't watching nine hundred two. I know that's so. true. <laughs> that's true. That's why he wasn't up on the trends. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is mind boggling. Half the shit these kids wear now, you couldn't do work in it if you wanted to. That's just it. You know, if you stumbled across some work and actually didn't accidentally got involved in it, you couldn't pull it off with the equipment they're wearing anyway. And the weird, ironic part is this day and age you're entitled to look dumber and dumber and dumber and by all rights it's easier to get hired nowadays yeah. than it was 20 years ago yeah. you know yeah they'll take anybody i was just talking to a friend of mine the other day him and his wife his wife works at a bank and she's like you know 10 years ago some of these people come in like it'd have been a no right off the get-go like we wouldn't even interview interviewed them now we hire them. They stay about a week, you know, but, yeah. but like before now, nah, you can, like, we just can't have, that can't be the face of the, of the business, you know, whatever business it is. But now it's a different, now they're just looking for warm buddies, somebody to show up. You know? Yeah. But, 
And I don't know how they're ever going to get that fixed. People are going to have to get hungry. Yeah. You know, going to have to get hungry. Unfortunately, that's the that's the way that usually goes. Yeah, it is. And I don't see that happening anytime soon. I mean, if they're willing to just... Well, as long as there's always a government program to keep them from being hungry, the more and more people they get on the take on that, that's the more and more votes they've got without having to work for them. They can buy those votes with our tax dollars. Yep. Until we put our foot down on that, that's going to continue. So you think Mr. Trump's going to get indicted? No. I don't think he is either. No, I just saw a deal on that today. That That's pretty much over already. Yeah. They, well, they it, were withholding a critical piece of evidence that basically exonerated him from Yeah. That. And, I mean, from what I see... It was political Yeah, it, anyway. it truly... I mean, I'm not trying to get tangled up in this, but it truly was a witch hunt. I mean, from what I seen, they didn't really have any legal grounds. Yeah. What he done wasn't illegal. Now, I mean... If we're going to go after ex-presidents for alarm allegedly paying off women shouldn't bill clinton be yeah. on the top of the list say, like, he ought to be the poster boy for that i would yeah. think and i realize that i wouldn't want to spend five minutes with hillary either right but you know that doesn't necessarily, necessarily justify the rest of his behavior but crabs he wasn't even cheating with good-looking girls well, that's just it like I if mean, you're gonna cheat on your wife yeah at least find somebody hot yeah you know yeah he had a weird taste in women that's yeah. for sure available is what he was looking for yeah, <laughs> I, don't yeah. Think it, I don't think it mattered beyond that yep they didn't even have to be ready and willing as long as they were there. You know? And I got to thinking, too, I know for a fact, seeing it with my own eyes on TV, shoot, it's been a month, month and a half ago, you know, Jimmy Carter, they put him on hospice. I mean, yeah. around here, hospice is usually about two weeks at most, and it's like... Yeah, no doubt. I don't know what's going on here, but... I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep much up on the, the ways of Jimmy Carter. No. Nope. I try to forget that he was ever in charge. <laughs> yeah. I think most people do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a great example of what not to do. Yeah. And well, we've pretty we, much we got double, that. Yeah, we yes. doubled down. We got the 2.0 version of that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's working out well. Interest is starting to go up. Yeah. All on the same same uh, path. This will be an interesting presidential race coming up, I think. I mean, you know, I don't know who all is going to throw their hat in the ring. Yeah, I don't know. And, it'll, it'll be a bloodbath, and then you can go down the path of where we haven't even having free elections anymore and so on and so forth. Yeah. We're not going to go down that rabbit hole, but. I, I'm just dying to figure out what the Democrats are going to do. I mean, I can't imagine they're going to run this clown again. I mean. Well, if they can keep a stunt double alive long enough, I suppose they'll give it a whirl. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, I would think the last thing, I don't care if she is a woman or a woman of color, whatever they want to call her, but, like, Kamala Harris, I mean, I don't care. I mean, you got to find somebody better than that if you're just wanting the glory of having the first woman president on your ticket. I mean. I'll find somebody that could put a sentence together with an actual oh rational my thought God. idea. It would be a nice start. But, hey, whatever. They can do them, I guess. I mean, yeah. it is plumb scary if you stop and think about it. Oh. What, what always irritates me about that is, if you just step back and look, as a voter, okay, if I had a company and I was going to hire someone to run it, would I hire either one of those two buffoons? That, that just no, I would not. Yeah. Would you hire Donald Trump to run it? Hell yeah, you would. Yeah. If you could get him for any other job for 400000 a year to run a, a large-scale company, that's a steal, that's a bargain. We'll take him every day of the week and twice on Sunday. I agree. I wouldn't pay those two buffoons 12 cents a decade. No, I wouldn't either. No. I mean, because neither one of them has literally ever ran anything. No, nothing. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I... But, yeah, they'll be crawling out of the woodwork here for long on the Republican side and whatever the Democrats are going to do. it be coming up here pretty yeah, quick. I can hardly wait for more signs in yards and yeah. political ads on TV all the time. That's a great time of the year on the radio, so on and so forth. If they could couple that with a bunch of Christmas music, yeah. that would make the radio great. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm still sticking to my guns of setting out. Don't care who's on the ticket. I just don't believe in voting anymore. And so. I'm not giving in, Tony. Yeah. I'm not giving in that easy. <laughs> I'm going to fight the power. I, will, I have never missed an election. I will not miss this one. What do you Fat think? Fat good, doesn't he? But I won't yeah. miss it. <laughs> what do you think people like, let's just take a Liz Cheney, you know, she was bitching there when she got beat, you know, in November or whatever, that, well, she just may run for president. It's like, I don't care who she thinks she is. You have to know that you don't have a snowball's chance. I mean, you just got beat. Yeah, a, you know, but so, I, I think you're missing the backside of that is you end up with a shitload of money regardless. But who it, who would give her money? It's like what I mean. I don't somebody always will. There's I don't understand enough. that. I mean, 
Twenty bucks is twenty bucks, Tony. I guess. <laughs> I mean, Maybe there, I ought to run. There's, just... always, there's always somebody. I think you'd be surprised the voter turnout you get, <laughs> at least amongst the uh, rural farm plot community. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, there's always there's always money somewhere, and it's like oh, I'll go ahead and bail out now, and and uh, just I get to keep that, so that's yeah. fine. You know, I mean, I get it if you're a governor, you know, or something, and you know, yeah, maybe your odds ain't that good, but you've at least got a little bit yeah. of ground to stand on. But like her, nobody in the Republican Party wants anything to do with her. They proved it by throwing her out of office. So it's like, what are you doing? Look at Kamala Harris, though. She couldn't make any yeah. traction in the primary, and they're like, hey, she's a perfect vice president, yeah. VP candidate. How and why? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> and she did everything but called Joe Biden. Yeah, I mean, everything Every, under the sun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but now we're now we're buds. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we did it, Joe. Yeah, we did it. That speech that stupid bitch gave there <laughs> to the basketball team. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'd have it's got like up, walked out. A, a bad makeover of Dumb and Dumber. It like, is. It is unbelievable. Yeah, you can't make the stupid shit up that these people say. No. Yeah. But you see it even watching them congressional hearings, like with TikTok today. And it didn't matter which side of the aisle. They were on. I mean, they wouldn't even let the guy talk. As soon as they'd ask him a question, then they'd just talk right yeah. over the top of his answer. I'd have got up and left. Did you watch any of the Speaker of the House stuff? When no, they were, I when didn't. They were, mm-hmm. If you watched those hearings, I was so furious. I stopped by a buddy of mine's house, and he had it on a TV in this chair. Normally, I don't watch the news much anymore because we'll just piss. You, you just know, get mad, but, yeah. And I'm like, a group of fifth graders could run that deal more efficiently than those band of idiots. Like, literally, there's not enough common sense in there to turn on a light bulb. Yep. Like, it it just baffles me that those are the people in charge of the of the largest economy and the greatest country in the world. Like, how did we get to the point that we're literally electing the dumbest among us yeah. to run stuff? I, I, because the, the good people are too busy working. Yeah, I've said that for years. And let's go back a few years in time. Let's take Barney Frank. Mm-hmm. I mean, the guy... I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going to say he had a speech impediment. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. awful. The guy looked like an idiot. He yeah. weighed several yeah. hundred pounds. I mean, yeah. you, you just looked at this guy, and he had dipshit tattooed on his yes. forehead. Yes. And it's like, how is he getting elected? Yeah. It just appalls me. Al Franken, another yeah. prime example. Like The list is long. I mean, how do we end up with these idiots in charge? Yeah. Yeah. And it's not I, like they're from a generational family. Like, let's face it, Jeb Bush is not helping anybody do rocket science in the evenings. Yeah, but he's from a long line of political power. Okay, that so he's got the connections to sit here. But you pull these other whistle peats out of the woodwork. Oh. Like the governor, or, or not the governor, end up getting elected in Pennsylvania. Oh, uh, yeah, the the guy that had a stroke. What the hell was yeah. his name? Now, I, yeah, I can't think of his name. I've tried to put it out of my mind. But I'm like, literally, if you're walking through. Anywhere, and you're like, hey, man, I'm going to start a lemonade stand. I need somebody to run this. He would be the last guy in the yep. building that you would pick. Yep. There's no way that's the guy you come out with. Right. And, uh, and uh, all yeah. I'm doing is being real about it. If yeah. I'm going to roof a house, are you going to pick a guy who's fit, or are you going to pick the guy that's had a stroke that can't put two sentences together? Yeah. And I'm just being honest. Yeah, exactly. You're going to take the other guy. It's the right man for the it's job. It's like taking health advice from J.B. Pritzker. Exactly. You do not look like the most healthiest yeah. individual I've ever seen. Uh, I'm not claiming to be, you know, Tony whatever it was, Tony Little that used to do the, the yeah. commercials or whatever. <laughs> I'm not claiming to be in that good of shape. However, I know I'm still in better shape than yeah. that fat sack of shit. Exactly. You know, you're but not going to tell me about I just, fitness. I just can't believe the hypocrisy that people swallow that, you know, they want to tell you how to run every aspect of your yeah, life. Absolutely. I mean, right down to the Nats' ass. But Barney Frank, you know, oh, we found out you're running a gay prostitute ring in your basement. Well, well I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. I mean, he knows everything that's going on in your house, yeah. but the basement of my own, how are you serious? Oh, I didn't yeah, know I that. Have, I hadn't heard. Yeah. Hadn't been done there in yep. a while. Well, obviously, you're not taking the stairs very much, so yeah. it's a believable thing, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah, funny we'll, how that works. We'll put him in charge of the entire banking system of the world's strongest company. <laughs> yeah, then wonder why it collapsed. Yeah, it seemed like the guy for the job. He might be. In, he must be in charge again now. <laughs> yeah. They're going again, down again now. Yeah, Dodd Frank. Yeah, yeah. What I always love about government is their idea. Well, and especially liberalism. Idea is so great we have to make them mandatory. Yeah, right. If the idea was that great, they'd just become the way. Yeah, you know. Yeah, whatever. It is a crazy mixed up world out there. It is, and it ain't getting any better. No, it's not. I uh, I weep for my kids a little bit. Uh, it's sad. And the bad part is, though, is if you look back to politics 
And literally, this goes back to Abe Lincoln and before. It was still a dirty. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, mud slinging. Yeah. You know, it's always it's been always that way. Been, it's always been a shit show of some fashion. I just can't believe that you're willing to fight that hard to become part of a cesspool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, I think even the good people that get in it, by the time, if they want to get any traction, they got to make so many side deals to ever get anywhere that they're dirty time they get there. Like, yeah. Look at it at the local level. Well, I don't care if it's a county board, school board, town board, whatever. You do get a lot of good, level-headed people in yeah. there. And within a year, they throw their hands up and quit. They're like, I can't do shit. I mean, yeah, it's the good so people dysfunctional. always give in or give up. Yeah. And, uh, and I've been yeah. in that position before. Yeah. It's like, I can't deal with these idiots. The other just, good, well, that's why I don't go to meetings. Don't yeah. you? you know my policy on that. Yeah. I, I refuse to go to, to meetings on stuff. You need help with this, that, or the other project? I'm happy to help. I'm not going to sit through a meeting where stupid people are allowed to speak without being told, that's too dumb to, to continue to talk about. Be quiet. Or my personal favorite, I didn't bother to research the fact that we talked about this five, five other meetings. We already came to a resolution. We solved the problem five other, five other times. Yeah. But you didn't bother to get off your ass and get informed about it. So now you'd yeah. like to rehash it again and waste yeah. everyone's time, even though we've already made the decision five times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That way we can go over it again and continue to waste everybody's time. Yeah. That's why I could never be on a school board, a mayor, any of that. Because I, I move too quickly. And, I mean, everybody else would be left by, you know, I, I could never get anything yeah. passed because they're six months behind where I'm at. Exactly. Yeah. I just don't roll that away. It is frustrating. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm out on the meetings. Yep. And that's why government's so inefficient. Yes. That's all it is is meetings. Just meeting, meeting, yeah. meeting, meeting. That way we can have a policy for this and a meeting for that. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. That it is. Yeah. So that's our challenge challenge to our listeners. Stand up, wreck your next meeting. Go to a meeting. <laughs> yeah. Go to a meeting. <laughs> Speak your opinion. Get it stopped quickly before it drags on to the next five meetings. Yeah. Yeah, it it's insanity. Yeah. That is for absolute certain. Yeah. And most of them, if you go to school boards, city councils, whatever. It's always waiting on the next form of government higher than you. Oh, we can get a grant for that. Well, that's free money. Yeah. You know, I don't, I guess apparently they just print yeah. money in Springfield. I don't know how that works, but, yeah. you know, it's free money. So now we got to apply for this, and we got to wait six months on them to get back to us to say, well, you didn't fill out this line of the application, so you got to resubmit it, and it'll be another six months. And that's how you end up with an electric bus that won't go from one end of your school district to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All, all while you have to decommission a perfectly good bus. To save the environment. Nothing says saving the environment like destroying something that's useful. Yeah. Yeah. I that agree. makes perfect sense. Yep. Yep. Sign me up. Oh, and by the way, you're going to have to spend about, you know, half a million dollars on a charging station. But yeah, yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I wouldn't even want to guess what the tax bill is that we're footing to put in all these charging stations and all that shit. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you get an electric car, you ought to have to have your own windmill to power it. I agree. Your own solar panel, something. If you want to be green, you want to really, if you really, if that's your avenue, and that's where you're really at, and you're really serious about it, then do it right. Do it 100%. Yep. Take it to the extreme and, and really do it. It's no different than all the people on TikTok that I see the support the government's ban of TikTok. It's like, <laughs> how, how does this even work? Yeah. How did we get yeah. to this yeah. point? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you're telling me that you want to announce on TikTok that you want TikTok ban. Yeah. <laughs> why, do you, why do you think you should announce it on TikTok? Well, we're just so many people so quickly. I, I think that's the point. Yeah. Well, well, the government's king of telling people, do as I say, not as, not I, as do. I do. Yeah. That is they true. Should, they should really have t shirts That should be on the coin. <laughs> mm-hmm. Since we're taking God off everything, the next coin yeah. should say, do as we say, not as we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, we truly got happier topics to talk about. God, I would think it gets depressing yeah. talking about the government. It just makes you no wanna, doubt. Now you got me all fired up. Makes you want to sell everything and move to Mexico and sneak back in. Yeah, and, uh, get all the free shit. Get on the dole. Yeah. yeah. Any new products from Salford this year? Just seen the uh, Salford hat on the wall. No, they're pushing the VRT pretty hard. Yeah. Um. That's probably the main one. The Halo Airway, et cetera. You know, starting to gain some ground there. I think out of the farm shows that I've been to this winter, I haven't seen anything like revolutionary that somebody's introduced, no. to my knowledge. There's 400 companies that have a high-speed disc now. Yeah. Um, 
you know, you can argue six ways from Sunday on those. Did you happen to see the TikTok video? Because we're not forbidding it. Of the old Steiger disc. No, the guy I was restoring an old Steiger disc. I should have sent it to you. I'll never be able to get back to it now. But it pulled in line, kind of like these new high-speed ones, and then folded out to a tandem disc. Really? Yes. Slicker than shit. Do you got the watch history app on I, your phone? I, uh, I don't know. Should have. Yeah. I should have. Go to your settings. It'll say comment history and watch history, and you can at least go back and see yeah. that you watched it. It. Uh, oh, I watched it, it three or four times. It, I'll send it to you. Like did, said, did Steiger make other implements, or was it just a, one of them discs? I think they made a few discs and a few maybe chisel plows or something really? along those lines. I didn't lines. realize they that. Didn't, they dabble in tillage, I suppose, more to test their own stuff than probably. There was no Steiger tillage around here. No. But that doesn't mean there wasn't a ton out west or up north, you know. Um, so it just pulled in a straight line behind more, the tractor? More or less, yeah. Pulled in a straight line behind the tractor, and the guy was backing up as he was folding it out so it could, you know, wouldn't get in a bind with the tires or whatnot, and folded it out, and it was a tandem disc. I'll be damned. Just like a 496 International kind of sort of more or less, but it folded up narrow and straight in line. I'm like, hmm, that'd be kind of handy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be damned. Sure didn't know that. I find the <clears throat> video. I'll send it to you. Yep. Yeah. Guy was restoring. I think his grandpa bought it new or something. Said he was going to restore it. I don't know. It didn't look restored in the video. But yeah. I was so amazed by how it folded that I, the paint could have been purple for all I know. Yeah. It's funny how there's different implements out west that do the same thing that we do Mm -hmm. but just made by like wishick i think is a big disc out there they're heavy as hell for rocks you know and and whatnot and and some of those companies never make it no over here because they're not i suppose they're they're built so heavy that they're overpriced for our market yeah and probably wouldn't work in our soil if they're that heavy you know what i mean they yeah yeah you're probably right yeah no i didn't see anything at the farm show that was all that over the top nothing no, I didn't either. I'm trying to think what the big hot item is this year. I don't know. I, uh, I can't think of anything that was that was all that uh, revolutionary. Of course, we got to be kind of somewhat getting to the end of the road. Like God, you'd think. Yeah. You know, I mean, after millions and millions and millions of dollars being spent on stuff, like what else I, can you do? I think now it's going to start going to more computers and yeah. software. Yeah. Stuff, you know. Did I see something today? Are they gaining some traction on the right to repair thing? Seems like I saw that's, a video on that. That's the gist that I've got that, yeah, they're kind of. They're kind of gaining a little traction there. Yeah, but I have I haven't been following it that close. Don't really know where it's at or what what the next hoop or hurdle is. But Well, that's the next shit storm coming down the pike. Like, it doesn't matter if it's semis or pickup trucks or tractors. Like, when this stuff gets a little age on it, we can't keep it working when it's new. Yeah. So how in the hell are you going to keep it working later on? And how are you going to justify keeping this 10-year-old tractor that should still be worth two hundred grand, let us say, but it's not because it needs $50,000 worth of bullshit fixed that provides no value? Yeah. How are you going to keep that working? Like I said, if it doesn't work when it's new, it's not going to get better with age. Yeah. We were talking know? the other day. Now, I, I get it. Tractors nowadays are bigger and are covering more ground than a tractor from the 70s. You I understand that. But when I was a kid... You could buy a new 4440 John Deere, take your pick, and you took it home and you used it, and maybe 10 years later your hired man was jagging around and burnt a clutch out of it or something, yeah. and it went back to the shop. You go to Deere Case, wherever now, it's and the entire shop. shop is scattered, new shop. just new tractors scattered all over the new shop. Yep. The shop. I mean, it's just fucking unreal. Yeah. It, it absolutely is. It's it's sad what it is. Yeah. In fact, if you, you know. go to our local shop, it's more newer stuff than it is older stuff yeah. by far. Yeah. Well, and that's twofold. So the older stuff has gotten to the point where it's almost not cost effective to have the dealership fix it. Right. Because their overhead is higher to have to have all the technology stuff yeah. to work on the newer shit. Right. Yeah. I just paid him 15 so grand to put a clutch in my tractor. You, you know, you, you can't have a guy trained yeah. to, to be Mr. Wizard on Green Star and. This electronic issue and a or rebuild an IVT transmission at a little low price of fifty grand. You can't have him in the corner putting a clutch in a thirty ten. Yeah, you know, like it just the, the math doesn't work. Yeah, so I'd like to say I get it that an eighty four thirty deer has probably worked more ground in three, four, five years than a forty four forty did in fifteen. I get it, but still hours are hours. Yeah, like right, it was designed for that. Yeah, you know, allegedly. Yeah, you know. Yeah, overall, it ought to be matched to the implement it's pulling. I would think so. Yeah. It's not like it's. And like I said, how many of those problems were, oh, these these bearings weren't heavy enough or this gear wasn't big enough? 
No, it's not usually that. It's this electronic system failed or the emission system quit or it's some bullshit in there, you know. The part that pisses me off on all this stuff is it seems like I've got sensors, bells, whistles, all these alarms going off on shit that I couldn't care less about. But the yeah. stuff, the really stuff that's like, I wish I had an alarm for that. No, I don't have one for that, yeah. you know. The other thing that irritates me about this, and it's been this way for since OB2 diagnostics come out on cars, and tractors are the same way. Like, those things monitor everything. They're monitoring all kinds of shit. They can tell you the barometric pressure, you know. I don't know what the barometric pressure is, but they can they monitor all that, and they're monitoring this speed and that speed and all this shit, right? But oh, they can't tell you what's wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're monitoring all that shit, shouldn't you be able to come up with what condition? You know, a, maybe it might have five possible ones, but it ought to be able to tell you, okay, you know, you've got excessive water temperature, you've got this, you've got that, this sensor's going bad and causing this issue, or, or you know, Something's not right in this area, so on and so forth. But the diagnostics are nowhere near to the level of the control. You know, we can derate and we can do all this. Ah, But you're on your own for figuring out what the hell caused it. You know, well, great. That's spectacular. And then the bad part is when you go talk to one of these companies, whether it's Deer or whoever, they will tell you that, oh, these electronics are so much better because, you know, we know exactly what's wrong with it immediately. It's like, well, most of the shit that I've ever had go wrong, no, you can't tell me yeah. immediately, you know? Yeah. Take a 4440 in, you, you have fucking cranks broke on it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. pretty simple. <laughs> exactly. You just look at it with your eyes yeah. or whatever. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I used to always laugh. Buddy of mine in college, his sister was in college at the same time. Every time he she drove his car, the check engine light would be on because she didn't get the fuel cap tight enough. If she had to fill it up, she didn't get the cap tight enough. That it's flipping ridiculous to have to go back and get reset. Yeah. It monitors if the cap's tight enough, but oh, by the way, it's getting ready to throw a timing belt and crash all your valves, yeah. but we have no clue that's getting ready to happen. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just snuck up on us. Yep. Okay. I don't know. How about the diagnostic shit keeps up with the software that's controlling it? Yeah. And then, you know, maybe we can have a better, better product, but doesn't seem to go that way. No, it don't. I've said forever, probably mentioned it on here even. I think half of this shit's by design. It's going to be such a headache that you're going to say, just fucking give me the electric one. I, yeah. I can't keep this fucking thing running. Just give me the electric one. Yeah. I don't think you can keep those around either, but I think that's that's the avenue they're attempting to push, yeah. yes. Yeah. Clearly, they've never pushed an electric golf cart home, or they'd rethink yeah. that plan. But. And I really think that that's the only way that you're going to force people to adopt that, because yeah. other than that, you don't want it, but when you can't yeah. keep your diesel running because of all the bullshit on it, yeah, it's like, well, i got to have something. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how all them people up in Minnesota and North Dakota where it's been fucking 35 below all winter. I wonder how their Teslas are yeah. faring. Yeah. And, and there again, why doesn't the government lead by example? Why isn't, you know, the presidential limo, why isn't it electric? I agree. There again, don't do as I as I do, do as I say, you know. Well, no, you lead by example, you get a, an electric piece of shit with a 35 mile an hour top speed and no range and so on and so forth. And, you know, then I'll look into it. Yep. You know, put him on a solar plane or maybe a wind-powered plane. Yeah. You know, something, something super fuel efficient. I just watched it tonight. Whistling Diesel had released a video of demolishing a Tesla. <laughs> and of course, you know, he always throws them skits in it. And so one of his buddies act like he got hurt. He was like, oh, you got to take me to the hospital. He's like, oh, my car's dead. Let me charge it. So he's got this diesel <laughs> generator. <laughs> I don't know what he done to him. I mean, this fucking thing, he just puking fucking black smoke out, fires it up, plugs the car in. <laughs> well, give us eight hours, we'll get you to the hospital. <laughs> It was fun. <laughs> the best one I saw is guys looking out a truck window at this Mustang next to him. And you can only see from the front of the driver's window to the back. And it's like, how's your towing capacity? And he's like, mine's pretty good. Then he nails it, and you see all this smoke roll by, and then it pans forward. He's got a 12-valve Cummins and a Mustang, and he's pulling a boat. <laughs> and a pretty good size boat. I did have to chuckle at that one. I watched that one a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. Because why not? Well, I, I got no problem with that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just hoping he reinforced the hitch somehow. I can't think there's a lot to bolt to on a Mustang for a reset. But yeah. I mean, I, and maybe there is. Yep. <laughs> Takes all kinds. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where this shit's headed. It's scary. Yeah, ain't that the truth? The days of cool vehicles are rapidly coming to an end. That's, though, that's what just tears me up. Like, where is the the group of people other than me and you that, are, that actually have money and power they're like no we're not bringing in the electric mustang we're bringing back the hemi we're bringing back the boss yep. 429 we're bringing back shit that's cool yep you know 
But no, we're not doing any of that. And I realize we have the Hemi, quote unquote, but it's. Well, I think I sent you a picture, what, a few weeks ago. I'm like, is this seriously the new Ford Mustang? I mean, it looks like, I mean, it just, it's awful. That was a sports car when I was a kid. Now it's a fucking family sedan. Yeah, hatchback. Yeah. What a. What a sad state of affairs. I mean, to me, at that point, why don't you just dump the mud? Just forget yeah. it. Just don't even build it, if that's what it's going to look now, like. Now, Dodge did double down the other day with their new, I assume it's a Demon or whatever it's called, 1,025 horse, less than nine seconds in the quarter. No kidding. Zero to 60 in like 1.6. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. But they're only making 3,000 of them, and you know, I'll never get one. Buddy of mine tried to buy one yesterday. Dealer told him, oh, yeah, I can get a lot for that. Yep, I got one. You know, with my name on it, blah. Hey, I pushed them to shove. They couldn't get it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well you yeah. figure there'll be several hundred movies. You know, oh, the ultra rich will get, get the first absolutely. several. Well, that's what they basically and, told him. Well, yeah. they're supposed to sell for 100 but they're going for 200 Yeah. But long story short, he thought he could buy it for 100 and sell it for 200 right. <laughs> and, But as it turns out, somebody else has beat him to the punch, apparently. Yeah, the dealer got smacked out on that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy out there. To me, this automated farm machinery... And the trucks and all that shit, that's going to be wide scale, I'd, I think, within 10 years. Yeah, I really probably, do. You see where McDonald's launched their first zero-employee restaurant the other day? Oh, really? No, I didn't see that. No, all automated. Yep. Yeah. How is this going to work on down the road when you literally put everybody out of a job because it went to automation? And they always talk about this shift. Well, yeah, but the people who were flipping burgers can now go make chips or parts for the machinery that's actually doing it. Well... What do you do if that becomes automated? Yeah. You know what I mean? Now you've got automation building automation. Yeah, you know, at That's some... where AI takes over the world, Tony. We're working for the Matrix. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, you know, at some point in time, it's like, where, where does it start doing substantial damage to where yeah. nobody has a job? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. What good is it going to do you to manufacture 40 cameras over here because I don't have a job to buy one? Yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. Uh, the unions will get that figured out for us. I suppose... You know, people always say, too, that, well, you always got to have people to raise livestock or whatever. No, you don't. I mean, I just toured a robotic dairy a year ago mm-hmm. that one guy can run the whole operation yeah. easily. China's got them, you see them high-rise hog farms yes. now that are like 13 stories tall. Yep. And it's virtually, I mean, there's people there, but it's virtually all automated. I mean, yeah. And they've screwed. got a plethora of people, and yeah. they're still doing it the automated way. Yeah. Which proves the old adage that shit runs downhill. That's right. <laughs> that it does. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, at some point in time in there, I think, you you know, it's funny that we can't automate Congress or nothing like that. We yeah. still got to have dipshits in there. You know, we can't use yeah. a robot to make the right decision. There's no possible way they could vote from their home state. Yeah. They they they, they would just have to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just seen a thing last night on one of the news channels. They was talking how, you know, how are we going to regulate some of this AI nowadays just because it's it's going so far so fast that they yeah. can't keep up with it. And they're talking how it's going to be able to detect diseases, you know, and and all this stuff. But that was my first thought. You know, well, let's get rid of Congress. I mean, if, if these things can make such good snap decisions, yeah. well, let's get rid of those dipshits and we'll maybe get something lined out here. But My thing is, like, who actually wants that? I don't want any of that shit. I want to live in either. 1955 again. I do, too. You know? No, not again. I didn't live there to begin with, but that's where I want to I'd go, go to the 80s. I'd, I'd go, go, yeah, I'd take I the 80s. Play. Yeah. Drop me off in 1979. Again, I'm only at 18, and I'll, yeah, that would be spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know this. It's just getting out of control. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. If you if you take a rural farming community like we're in, you know, for the most part, damn near every household, damn near, is somehow connected to ag, you know, whether yeah. this guy works at the Ben Company, but the wife, she might be at the dentist's office yeah. or whatever, but, you know. One of the two is usually somewhat related to pretty, Yeah, pretty close, but, you know, just think of all the spray and starts going to drones and, yeah. um, you know, and just different stuff where yeah. now you've drastically reduced your workforce. I mean, it's going to change rural America big time one of yeah. these days. Yeah, it is. I shared a thing on Facebook earlier that I'd seen that said, uh, how, how the hell was it? Happy Happy National Ag Day. Just think in 10 years, the government can take every farmer out for dinner. Both of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Basically what it's going to be. That's where we're headed, yeah. That's what they want. They're doing but, a pretty good job of getting it there, too. But, you know, I've said forever, like all this, the you know, even the Tier 4 motors and just all this 
stupid shit that we've just talked about. If people would quit buying it, that shit would come to an end, you yeah. know. But but they have no reason to quit producing it because you go to deer now and yeah, we'll get you new tractor. It's a two year wait because you got fifty people in front of you and parts yeah. are hard to get. You just quit buying the shit and they'll quit making it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Like we said on several podcasts ago, California started imposing those rules. That's neat. We're not making anything for you. Right. We're not shipping anything there. We're closing uh, yeah, all I, our dealers down. I can't believe that they get to uh, dictate that, what everybody else does. Exactly, and that'd been the easiest way to stop it. We're done. Like I said, we'll drop it off at the Nevada border. You want to rickshaw it the rest of the way in? Knock yourself out. But yep. We're not actively trying to sell anything in your cesspool. It, it's no different if you look at the... I mean, once again, it comes back to there's no loyalty to your country anymore. It's follow the dollar. But... And on the ag side of it, all you'd have to do is get John Deere Ag Co case and, you know, I don't know, maybe one of the other short lines. You just say, you know what, fine. If we got to go to Tier 4 engines, then guess what? Fuck it. We're done. We ain't going to build tractors no more. That's what I said on the engine thing a long time ago. I don't. I think it's complete bullshit. And now, I'm going to preface this with, I don't want the military to have to put with emissions either. But I think it's complete bullshit that they can go and order brand new 6.7 Power Stroke Fords with zero emissions. Nothing. Nada. Not they had a death tank on it. There's a knockout plate where the where the little thing's supposed to be to fill it up. They ain't got any of them, and they can buy them dirt cheap. They don't have any of that shit, but they want Joe Consumer to have them. You know, they finally come out with a deal now. I think for fire departments and emergency services that they can legally delete them because well, it turns out they can't keep them running. Yeah, you think? You know, it's like. That should tell you all you need to know about the stupidity of the idea. Like I said, I don't want to have to say, hey, time out, Saddam. We're going to have to pause this Gulf War. Yeah. Our shit's going to regen for a little bit, and then we'll get back to fighting in, I don't know, what, about an hour? Everybody yeah. cool with an hour break? Yep. Take an hour siesta, maybe get your sandwich, grab a cold drink. We'll be back to in, a, in a minute. I don't want it to be that way. But there again, do as I say, not as I do. That's complete bullshit. It is. Especially they, when none of the rest all, of the world's following it. All those companies should have got together and said, that's fine. We'll go down this path. But we're no longer supplying anything to the government. Yeah. I don't care if yeah. it's... It, or, or it's, okay, if you want us to do Tier 4, then that is all we're making. That's it. Yeah. If, yeah. Then you're getting it, too. It's one or the other. Yep. Every postal vehicle, all the way up to the top of the food chain, all of it. Yep. Military tank, this, that, and the other. You know, we got this M1 Abrams tank. It's electric. It'll go from one side of the plant to the yeah. other. There you go. That's what mm-hmm. you get. Yep. It's zero emissions, though. Oh, yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we didn't put any bullets in it because that doesn't make smoke. Yeah. So uh, yeah. what you're going to want to do is maybe hurl an insult or two. Yeah. Maybe get a David and Glass slingshot and uh, go from there. We just put bigger rubber bands where the barrel used to be, and you can chuck rocks at them. Yeah, it's complete bullshit. You know, the UN's out saying now that, you know, 2030 is now the new cutoff date, you know, because it's never tomorrow. We've always got to keep kicking the can. Absolutely. You know. Didn't Al Gore say the world's going to end like 20 years ago? Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, yeah it's it, it, and the part that just infuriates me is you could do everything that you want. You could do it right. That's what we're, the whole world got rid of all the emissions. Yeah. And then one volcano erupts, and it just set us back 5,000 yeah. years in emissions. Yeah. My thing what is, was the point? what dinosaur, because, you know, we allegedly had them, which I still call bullshit on, but hey, whatever, that's a topic for another time. What dinosaur was out driving his car and overpolluted? I agree, and caused all that to yeah. to go go awry. Yeah, I, I don't see what happened there. Have you seen any of the the TikToks with Plymouth Rock? Oh yeah, with the the, <laughs> the water level, water yeah. level. Yeah, it's been the same since sixteen twenty or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're right; it has, it has been. Yeah, exactly. Once again, that's shit that only countries with the illusion of money can worry yeah. about. And here's what I want to know on crude oil. You know, it's such just evil, toxic, oh, fucking chemical. Yeah. Anything else, everybody, oh, organic this, organic that. Get it from the earth. That's what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. But it don't get, it, it's not organic. Crude oil is not organic, but the lithium and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, we're that's, that's fine. We're you know, it was, oh, well, they pollute, and they're this, that, and the other. But these lithium mines, I mean, they're practically pollution-free. They're good to go. Yeah. Having water run through those doesn't hurt a thing. Yeah, they're they all got, in these they got nice good, good labor, labor practices. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they don't have 12-year-olds out there yeah, digging yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit up. No, it's all good to go. It's clean and nice and pretty. Hell, we'll plant trees on it when we're done. It, yep. it, it's beautiful. And now you wait and see. This is my crystal ball prediction. You fucking wait and see that this will be another government layer that here within you know, the next five years, once they start really pushing the electric vehicles, 
that now all your police departments, even at the small town or the fire departments at the small town level, now they're going to have to go get retrained, have all this new equipment, how to deal with battery fires and how to deal with battery acid and personal protective equipment. It'll be another fucking 50 grand at this town of 300 people can't afford. Why don't they start with that? We get new police cars all the freaking time. Why don't they give them all electric cars? I I was going to get this high-speed chase. I was going to pull you over, but I'm running low on charge. I'd like to... I gotta make it home from a kid's softball yeah. game, so I guess I'm gonna let you go tonight. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's right. But we don't do it that way. No, instead we got them in a fifty thousand dollar Ford Explorer, yeah. sitting there idling year round. Yep. You know how come their truck doesn't shut off after fifteen mm-hmm. minutes? Every semi that pulls into my lot, if they try to let it idle for two minutes, the damn thing dies. But no, a cop car can run all day. Yeah. Nothing pisses me off more than go by a fast food restaurant with ten cop cars sitting there, and they're all sitting there running in the winter. That I way agree. they're warm when they come back out. Yep. Bullshit. I agree. State makes trucks me, makes me want to do the banana on the tailpipe, don't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little Eddie Murphy for you younger folk. Uh-huh. Younger folk, look into it. Beverly Hills Cop. Good yeah. No, it's total bullshit. I just I don't get it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. We've let it get too far out of hand. Everybody's too comfortable. Nobody wants to fight the good fight. They yeah. think that the ballot box is the answer, and it's not. I'm just saying. That's pitchforks. Pitchforks and torches. But anyway. So, yeah, I don't know. That's probably enough bitch session. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. We've, we've been gone for 60 days. We've got <laughs> no, some pent-up we aggression. Got, yeah. we got it all out in this one episode. Wait, we didn't get it all out. But we got a lot of it out in this episode. So uh, Anything we can do to bring you guys down. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, after listening to this, you guys will be like, well, shit. Yeah. Let me get up tomorrow. And remember, if you're driving new tractors, you're the problem. Yeah. Quit buying this shit. Quit buying this shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, heck. But then if everybody tries to buy old shit, then it drives the price of that. Well, that's so just it's a double-edged yeah. sword. Yeah, it's what do you lose, do? lose for everybody. So yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah. Just stay off TikTok because that is apparently bad. Yeah, I'm curious. Are we all, like, all going to get to say goodbyes if they do ban this? Or are they, they going to say, like, you know, know. June 1st? Or is it just going to be we're going to wake up and it's gone? Maybe we need to announce a big meet and greet a year out. There you go. On the off chance we get banned so we can all still meet up. Yeah, perfect. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. You asked for it. You got it. There you go. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.